My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the readings from this day are always relevant, but in, in our day, in a particular way, uh, as they refer to discernment of the Christ and the revelation of him who is the Savior, the Messiah sent into this world whose birth we've been celebrating uh, in this season of Christmas, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as even the President of the United States acknowledged in his Christmas address, which was amazing. And we're very thankful uh, that the Lord has heard our prayers and given us a leader who uh, is not ashamed to acknowledge Jesus Christ, the Savior. The Pharisees sent messengers and, and came themselves to ask John the Baptist if he was the Christ. And, of course, he, being a true prophet of God, admitted that he was not. And they asked him, well, are you the prophet? And he said, no. That reference to the prophet interested me because I've never been quite sure who is this prophet. And it seems to be a reference to Deuteronomy chapter 18 in, in which Moses is speaking to the people and says that God will send someone like him, like me, Moses, he says, a prophet. And with the coming of Christ and in the New Testament, that, that reference to the prophet seems then to connect Moses, who, who brought the people out of Egypt into the Promised Land, or led them to the Promised Land. He didn't actually himself enter, but that reference to the prophet that Moses speaks of seems to be a reference to Christ. And in many ways, Moses is a prefiguration of Christ. And Elijah, excuse me, St. John the Baptist says that he is not the prophet, but he's one crying out in the desert to make straight the way for, of the Lord. And he's the precursor then of Jesus Christ. And in the first reading, we hear from St. John words of unmistakable clarity about the Antichrist. And the Antichrist, then, is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Christ means the anointed, the Messiah, the one sent by God to save mankind. Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ is the liar. And whoever denies the Father and the Son is the Antichrist. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. I said that these passages were particularly relevant in our day because there is a religion that is spreading throughout the world, and in particular throughout the Christian world, which denies that Jesus is the Christ, which denies that the Father has a Son. And therefore, according to the words of St. John, anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. Christ came to bring us freedom. Christ laid down his life for us and does not impose anything upon us, but offers us eternal life if we only believe. This religion that denies that Jesus is the Christ, that denies that the Father has a Son, would impose itself on everyone by force, by violence, 
And yet, having been proclaimed centuries after these words were spoken and were written that we've read today, comes exactly as the fulfillment of what St. John is telling us, that warning us so that we would understand. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. And he, he already foresaw that there would be the deniers who would come and who would deny that Jesus is the Christ and pro promise another salvation. But there is only one. No one goes to the Father except through me, our Lord Jesus taught us. As for you, John referring to the believers, the anointing that you received from him remains in you so that you do not need anyone to teach you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made us, eternal life. Brothers and sisters, there may come a time when each of us may have to be faced with denying the truth that we know to save our earthly life or holding true to the truth that we've been given of salvation in Jesus Christ alone, the only begotten Son of the Father. We already know that we will not be losing our life, but truly gaining it. This is the promise that he made us, eternal life. If we only hold true to the end in the faith that Jesus Christ, Jesus is the Christ. He is the truly begotten Son of God. Our Lord as Venerable Fulton Sheen says, is the only person who was ever born to die. That's why he came into this world, to lay down his life for us. And he did gain for us then eternal life. And we pray for all those who are under the deception uh, that there is another way or that the truth that the church proclaims is somehow not the whole truth. We pray for the conversion of all peoples who do not recognize the Savior, that they come to know the Savior and receive, become incorporated in him through baptism. And we pray for all Christians everywhere to be strengthened in their conviction, to have courage and to remain faithful, to trust in the word of Christ, which is the promise of eternal life. Praised be Jesus and Mary.